This is a yo-yo, and this is also a yo-yo? In this video, I'm gonna attempt to make working yo-yos out of items you'd use in your everyday life. Will this be a success or a failure? Let's find out. Okay, so a yo-yo is basically made of three parts. There are two round halves and an axle to connect them together. And to make a yo-yo, I need to find items that resemble these components. So I look no further than every Karen's favorite department store. Okay, so the first yo-yo we're gonna be making is gonna be on the small side because I'm making it out of buttons. Originally, my plan was to use one button for each half of the yo-yo. However, these buttons are way too light. So using some Gorilla Glue, I attached the extra buttons to each other to add more weight. And now we've got two halves of a yo-yo. And to connect the halves together, I'm gonna use a pencil for the axle. A very small portion of a pencil, that is. I used some more glue to secure the axle to one half and use the same method to attach the other half. And after leaving it to dry for a bit, the button yo-yo was complete. I gotta say, this looks amazing. Probably the cutest yo-yo in all of existence. In fact, I'm so pleased with it, I'm gonna submit it to an art gallery. But the real question is, will it actually work? And while I was testing it, the art gallery actually accepted my submission and paid me $1 million for it. So now that we got these bands, let's make a yo-yo with rubber bands. What you're seeing is approximately 400 rubber bands. This is super satisfying, I'm not gonna lie. Now the problem with rubber bands is that they don't really hold any particular shape. Instead, they just kind of flop around like a fish. Unless you bunch them up into a rubber band ball. So I'm gonna integrate a rubber band ball on each end of this pen, which will function as the yo-yo's axle. I did my best to make sure both sides had the same amount of rubber bands, because when it comes to regular yo-yos, all it takes is the weight of one drop of water to throw it off balance. We're getting there. And finally, after more than an hour of wrapping rubber bands. Okay, I think it's finished. One feature I like about this yo-yo is that it's basically scratch proof. So if you ever drop it on pavement, it'll just bounce right off. But that doesn't matter unless the yo-yo actually works. Yo, that works really well. Wow. Okay, so recently I went to the gym to get those gains, and I couldn't help but notice that the dumbbells there kind of look like yo-yos. Hopefully this won't break my finger. It was close. Oh my gosh. Now I forgot to tell you guys, but tonight is actually movie night, and this time we're watching Spider-Man. Hey everyone. Hold up. This disc is round just like a yo-yo, and I conveniently have a two disc set, so technically we have two halves of a yo-yo right here. And for the axle, we could just use a pencil again. But this is gonna be difficult because these discs are incredibly thin and lightweight. But the real problem was that they weren't held on tight enough to the pencil and they kept sliding off. So as a workaround, I put duct tape on both sides of the discs to cover the hole in the center. Now I could push the pencil through the tape without the disc falling off. I'm gonna be honest, this thing is really awkward to hold. The discs are still a little wobbly, which may be a problem, but there's only one way to find out. Okay. Why does it keep doing that? Not only was the yo-yo super shaky, but it took a really long time to unwind from the string for some reason. So to correct this, I started by wrapping several layers of duct tape to increase the axle circumference. This way, it'll take fewer rotations to unwind, and I added more duct tape around the discs to hold them in place better. Still got the moves. Okay, so far we've gone four for four, but I'm a little concerned about this next one because it's literally a clock. And to match the theme of this item, I'm only giving myself five minutes to build this yo-yo. One thing I noticed about the spot that holds the battery is that it's actually clipped in. Ah, come on. Okay, got one. Good. That's a little unfortunate. Oh well, we gotta keep going. We can't focus on the details. Uh, that might be a little bit too long. Alright, we're good. This pen still needs to be shorter. Thank you. 
We don't have time. We gotta go. I'm just gonna duct tape this like crazy. And while I'm taping it, I want to let you know that if you think yo-yos are cool and want to learn some tricks to impress your friends or your crush, then look no further than the yo-yo master pack. It comes with three different yo-yos for three different skill levels. Level one is the spin star. For absolute beginners, learning to throw and catch a yo-yo for the first time. Level 2 is the 1. This yo-yo is for learning those classy yet flashy beginner and intermediate tricks. And once you've mastered those, you're ready to graduate to level 3, the Replay Pro. This is an advanced yo-yo for learning those super satisfying string tricks. All three yo-yos are included in the master pack, plus five extra strings so you can keep practicing. You can pick yours up from my online yo-yo shop with the first link in the description below. And oh my goodness, I'm almost out of time. Yeah, I think we gotta call that a fail. But I had a suspicion I could get it to work if I didn't have a crazy time limit. So I added more duct tape near the axle to secure it in place better. And just like the DVD yo-yo, I followed that up by wrapping more duct tape around the center of the axle to help it unwind faster. I think that's as good as it's gonna get, honestly. <laughs> I just made a yo-yo out of a clock. Now something I probably should have told you earlier is that this is actually and I'm going to set it to take me 50 years into the future. I went 50 years in the past, didn't I? So apparently the time machine malfunctioned and put me in the 70s. But let's make the most of it and use these old school vinyl records to make a yo-yo. At first, I thought I could just reuse the design of the DVD yo-yo, but the hole in the center was way too small to fit a pencil through. So instead, I'm gonna use this paper clip. I started by unfolding it, then bent it in half to make a straight line. I then wrapped it in duct tape so it fit in the record nice and snug. And using the knowledge from some of the previous designs, I beefed up the axle with some more duct tape. Now because these vinyl records are pretty massive, I used glue and even more duct tape to secure them together. It's kind of hard to believe there's a paper clip in the center of this. At this point, the yo-yo was pretty much done, but I wanted to make an adjustment to the string. Instead of using one regular string, I took several of them and spun them together to make one mega string. I'm thinking a thick string and a large axle will help it unwind even faster. Yo! That's kind of satisfying the way it just comes up so slowly. Well, the yo-yo was a success, but as for me, I guess I'm just stuck here for now. Hopefully I'm making some cool yo-yos in a different timeline. You know, looking back at it, I would not have been able to make a lot of these yo-yos if it wasn't for duct tape. So let's make a yo-yo using duct tape itself. Duct tape has been used to make some pretty incredible things like a dress, origami, or even a boat. So something as simple as a yo-yo can't be that hard. This time, I started making the axle first by rolling some tape into a cylinder. Now as for the two halves that are going to connect to the axle, I'm just going to take a really long piece like this and then just bunch it up. Then we'll just wrap this with duct tape until we have a half of a yo-yo. Looks like someone duct taped an Egg McMuffin. All it's up to do now is duct tape the axle to the duct tape. I gotta say, out of all the yo-yos we've made, this one feels the most like an actual yo-yo. Yes, let's go! Wait, we're not done just yet. Because now it's time for the final, craziest, most difficultest challenge of all. I'm gonna attempt to make a yo-yo out of balloons. This is going to be incredibly difficult because balloons pop super easily and weigh almost nothing. So my first priority is to find a way to connect the balloons together without popping them. But this is the finale and these balloons are too boring so we're going to do it with these. Whoa. Fortunately enough, I was able to just tape the ends of the balloons together without them popping. Which turned out to be pretty easy actually. This is ridiculous. And our final yo-yo was ready. It seemed if I pulled up on the yo-yo at just the right time, it would wind up about halfway, but it just didn't have enough spin to come all the way back to my hand. So I retreated to the go-to solution, which was to make the axle bigger using duct tape. I'm also going to use this really thick string that I found, which looks kind of familiar for some reason. I don't know, it just kind of fell out of that time portal right there. 
but despite all these improvements, it somehow made the yo-yo worse. That didn't sound good. So I gave it one last try, but this time with a regular string attached to it. I admit, I knew this would be difficult, but I was not expecting it to be impossible. On the verge of giving up, I took a look at some normal yo-yos in my collection and realized what the real problem was. You see, the yo-yos that spin the longest are bimetal yo-yos. They have a steel ring to add weight to the outer edge of the yo-yo. This keeps the yo-yo stable, but most importantly, it helps it spin longer. Contrast this to my balloon yo-yo, which had nearly all of its weight placed in the center. So in a moment of desperation, I grabbed some paracord I had lying about, wrapped it around the outermost area of both halves, and the new rim weight was secure. If this doesn't work, then I'm at a loss. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. It actually worked. Woo! That is such a relief. Let's go. This was a fun video to make, and now I'm curious what your favorite yo-yo was, so tell me in the comments. I hope you enjoy the yo-yo master pack, thank you for all the support lately, and don't forget to keep throwing. And if you figure out how to time travel, please come rescue me, because I'm still stuck in the 70s.